All right, YouTube, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. It is April 29th. We got one game, just one game on the NBA slate tonight. We got the Timberwolves hosting the Grizzlies. We will go through that game. I'll give you my lean. I'll give you what I'm thinking. And my final plays in the game will be in the pinned comment. Obviously, it's one game. We're not going to force too, too much tonight. Last night, we ended up going 5 and one, four and one in our personal picks. And then we had the ride of the day come through. We had the Sixers money line, cash it. The Suns money line, cash it. And the Mavs money line, cash it. I almost, almost parlayed all three of those money lines. I think it was like plus 860 or plus 586 odds, something like that. I didn't. So I just went with the string, uh, the straight single plays, but hit all three of the games last night, money line wise. Then we had Jay Crowder under one and a half threes made, cash it. Bo uh, Boyan Bogdanovich only lost the night. We had under two and a half threes. He ends up finishing with three, so we lost there on the hook. And then we had the ride of the day, which we'll give the shout out. Obviously, we got a car video today. Um, I feel like I'm always like, oh, we got a car video. And you guys are like, yeah, dude, we can see the steering wheel. You don't have to tell us you're in a car if you're in a car. But uh, we had coming in from Abraham, Dwight Powell, under eight and a half points or under eight points finishes with zero points i didn't watch the whole game you've only played 11 minutes i don't even know just looking at the box score i don't know if he got injured or whatnot but dwight powell 11 minutes played zero points so that cash is the ride of the day and what an easy cash that was talk about an under in points and the guy scores zero points but yeah five and one last night great great night we're heading into the weekend my birthday weekend coming up. My birthday is on Monday, so I guess this is technically my birthday weekend. But I'm uh, very excited for these games and these playoff series and uh, just these games as they progress, as these playoffs have been very, very interesting. Um, but I know I'm rambling, but before we get into the game tonight, the Minnesota and Memphis game, I do want to talk about the ballers. Shout out to the ballers, the ones that don't, are the ones that support, um, and I guess you can call it a donation, but you guys do get some perks, but $2.99 a month to the channel. We have a giveaway going on right now where you guys can win a potential Fade Me t-shirt. We have different colors, different designs, different sizes. Um, you guys can win a t-shirt from the Fade Me collection. And I guess it's just one of the perks of being a ballers. You know, you get a logo next to your name, you get priority access and, and some exclusive access to emojis you can use in the chat. We're going to bring you guys on the channel um, and via video content pretty damn soon. So that's pretty exciting. But uh, guys, if you do want to become a baller, again, it's $2.99 a month and I truly couldn't appreciate the support anymore. I love the fact that some of you guys out there think, you know what, this is this is uh, this is how I can show my appreciation for the grind, or you know, doing a car video, or recording who knows where type of thing. Always trying to bring the content to you guys. So that link will be in the pinned comment. It'll also be in the description. Um, so become a baller today, two dollars ninety nine cents a month. We are picking a winner for the giveaway on Tuesday. So you guys still have a couple more days through this weekend to uh, to uh, go ahead there and enter. And all you have to do is become a baller and then drop your email in the community post that I have on the channel. You guys will find it. So we're doing a little bit of a giveaway there. And uh, we're on the road to 10,000 subscribers. So hit that subscribe button as well because we'll be doing a big giveaway. Big giveaway once we hit 10K. But I'm going to shut this loud mouth. Well, I guess I'm not going to shut this loud mouth. But I'll make this loud mouth start talking about some NBA uh, rather than some channel updates here. But we have the Timberwolves. Getting one and a half points here against Memphis. Memphis does have the series lead as of right now. This has been a good series, even though it is 3-2 um, and you thought Memphis was a better team and blah, blah, blah. Minnesota came on strong at the end of the year and has made this a very, very entertaining series. In fact, the, the last, uh, last two games here have been decided by three points total. Minnesota winning one and Memphis winning one here. Um, in terms of injuries, we do have Steven Adams out, which is going to be somewhat of a hit for Memphis. Um, and Minnesota has no updated injuries here. Let's look at some trends. Memphis is 2-4 and four against the spread in their last six games. They're 14-6 and six straight up in the last 20. 11-4 straight up in the last 15 games against Minnesota. And they're 13-6 and six in their last 19 games against Minnesota when looking at it against the spread here. So, you know, more positive trends trending in Minnesota uh, in Memphis's direction than uh, negative there. Minnesota here, um, the total's gone under in four of the last six games, five of the last seven against Memphis. They're 10 and four straight up um, in the last 14 at home, but four and eight against the spread in their last 12 games when playing against Memphis when they are at home here. So Minnesota's at home tonight. They play well against, uh, they play well against pretty much anybody when they're at home except Memphis. Again, that's four and eight when they're playing at home against Memphis against the spread here. This game's fairly simple to me, and there's someone... <laughs> I hope this dog consents to being on the channel here, because, uh, oh, good boy. 
Good boy, he gets a little treat. But um, all right, let's focus up here, Ev. Um, I do. I don't even know what I was saying, but I hope that that dog has a wonder, wonderful day. But um, I do like Memphis in this one. I think that they are the better team. It's a closeout spot. I don't want to say that this game wins the series for Minnesota if they win it, but the fact that they can come in and force a Game 7, I really think that they would have the momentum here. So I think Memphis takes this game very seriously and says, okay, let's close them out in six. I know we're on the road. That doesn't seem like it's all like the, the, the best thing for us, but um, I do trust them here. Um, Memphis to uh, to close this game out. I know they don't have Steven Adams, but I'm hoping some of their other guys, you know, Ja and, 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 and company, can really come through and do it. I think that this Minnesota team... They showed what they can do. They showed that they can play, but we also saw them absolutely crumble in some big spots, and this is a big spot. So, yeah, maybe I'll have, um, you know, schmuds all over my face and mud on my face at the end of this game for thinking Minnesota can't, uh, you know, perform in the biggest of spotlights because we've seen them kind of, and even in just the series alone, have these huge leads or have games where, you know, oh, must win, must win, and then Memphis actually takes it to them and, and whoops up on them. So I'm going to lean Memphis in this one, minus one and a half. And honestly, you can probably get good money on the, uh, you probably get minus 115, minus 120 odds on the money line on most books, too. So I might lean Memphis money line in this one. Um, I think that that's what I would... Um that's what I would probably uh, give my strongest lean to. In terms of total here, we have the total of 229. I'm not touching the total. These totals in these games have been absolutely whack. Like, the, the totals have gone under or higher or, or over and everything like that. I'm not touching the total in this game. So, um, I'm going to be leaning Memphis money line and minus one and a half. Very similar odds, um, but the safer play may be money line. And, guys, keep an eye on the pinned comment for the uh, the final plays here. I, I'm, I'm probably, since it's one game, I can probably lock in Memphis money line as a play. But we might add a couple player props. We're not for anything tonight obviously one game slate we had a five and one night last night I don't think we uh, I don't think we need to necessarily worry about um, forcing anything or, or trying to make up juice that we lost or any BS like that no we can be a little bit conservative tonight and I think that's what we'll do so keep an eye on the pinned comment but I wouldn't be surprised if it's a one play two play type of night but uh, that is going to wrap it up for the video guys thank you so much for watching use hashtag ride of the day in the comments if I didn't say that earlier and I will be pay uh, jumping on board with one of you guys in your plays tonight hopefully a player prop because I already kind of gave my stand on the um, on the total or on the on the uh, the money line and spread pick, so make sure to check that out and, and use hashtag right there in the comments. And uh, yeah, appreciate you guys even tuning into a car video. I mean, we're, we're getting these videos out out when and where we can, and hopefully, you guys do appreciate that. So we'll catch you guys in the next video. As always, peace out.